Guten Morgen guys, my name is Flozen and in today's video I'm going to be exploring Glodok, the Chinese part of Indonesia's capital Jakarta and I'm going to take you with me as I do so. Also, I'm going to be sharing with you my first impression of Jakarta that I had when I arrived here and traveling through the first few days. The first thing I noticed when I arrived here and I'm sure that you will notice too when you arrive here is that it's boiling hot. Oh my god, what is this? I think that's birds. That's cool. Not approved by me. It's boiling hot here. It's even hotter than Bali. Once you step foot outside, you're gonna be dripping in sweat. It's hot here. <laughs> Another thing I realized really quickly is that there's a different smell everywhere you go and most of them are not really pleasing. Some very strong smells, uh, especially here now on the market, you can smell a lot of fish. It smells like dog treats to be honest. Uh, yeah, a lot of different aromas. <laughs> And this might be where the fish smell is coming from. If you're from Indonesia, be honest with me guys. Would you eat this? On this Chinese food market you can find anything and everything. Huge crabs. Frogs. Living frogs. I'm kind of disgusted to be honest. No, this is more my type of food. Some fresh pineapples. Another impression I had that you have probably heard me talking about in my last video, in case you have seen it, is that the local people here in Jakarta are really, really nice and really helpful. If they see you struggle to find direction or if you need help in general, they will always be happy to help you, which is really nice, especially for a big city like this. Uh, when I've been in New York, people wouldn't bother helping you at all, even if you ask them. So that's a good thing. I like it a lot. Jesus Christ, it's getting worse and worse. Live turtles, dead turtles, mice or guinea pigs. I don't like it at all. One very negative thing about Jakarta that I don't like at all is the crazy amount of traffic that you will face everywhere. It can take you up to an hour to drive like 5 or 10 kilometers. It's crazy. But therefore public transportation is available pretty much anytime, anywhere, which is very convenient. One more thing I realized that I find quite shocking is the huge gap between the rich and the poor in Jakarta. There can be a luxurious mall and not even two or three hundred meters from it there's people housing in tents and they have no money to buy food whatsoever. Back at the Airbnb there is two more things that I want to touch on before ending this video and the first one is the noise. Jakarta can be quite noisy. Part of it is because of all the traffic but also for example here a mosque is being built right now and they are working 24 7 so even during the night it's not really quiet and last but not least I want to talk about the smog as you can see it's the middle of the day but still the sky is not really blue and especially over there you can see there's lots of smog in the air so that is something that I definitely wanted to mention because I realized this very quickly. That was one of my first impressions when coming to Jakarta. If you like this video, you know the drill. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Jakarta. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button and ring the bell to not miss out on any of my future Jakarta and Indonesia videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Haut rein!